Primary school is probably the best time of a child's life. It doesn't get any better. And I think parents appreciate that they want their children to go to school and have a fun, fabulous time learning. I've always enjoyed hands-on activities in science and that's a catch cry throughout any science teaching. We tend to take that to the extreme and we quite often have more than just great science activity, we have a lot of wow factor in it as well. One class have had some great success in studying a couple of our well-known West Australian scientists and they've actually written a book. So my role there was to actually try and get the book online and we turned it into an e-book. In our science endeavours at the school, we've actually created something that's very simple and something that makes a lot of sense. The lab is a simple tool, but it's a high-end motivator and engages all children. It doesn't matter what child it is, they can all achieve in here. And we've created a complementary website as well and the two combined are just a marriage made in heaven. We've used the website to help people who come to us and say, well, how do you do it? It's unique. Every simple experiment that we ever do is put on the web. It can be used by six-year-olds or 86-year-olds. It's used by teachers to share ideas and we get a lot of interest from not only Australia but overseas. It's the best job in the world. The children's reactions to science is the trigger for actually keeping going in here. We can use science to inspire children with creative ideas. We can actually get them to be critical thinkers. We actually have to change our styles of teaching and education. If somebody gave me a dollar for every time, somebody has said, well, that's a good idea. I wish they'd have had that when I was young. That really sums it all up.